Hey, game makers! Today we'll be looking at bust graphics and how to use them. Basically, using a full art version of your character instead of a face graphic. We'll be using the Galv Message Bust plugin, which shall be linked in the description. Now, we'll just be showing off how to use the plugin to do this. If you're looking for a way to use pictures similarly to what I did in my tips and tricks video, it will be its own tutorial as soon as I can get my hands on a map blur plugin. That aside, go into the plugin manager and turn the plugin on. All of the codes are located in the help file, but I've copied them to notepad for easy access. There are three settings in the parameters. Bust priority at zero will put your character behind the text. One will push the text over and display them on top of the message window. For this example, we're using one. Next is bust position. Zero will make the character drawn above the message window, and one will make it drawn from the bottom of the screen. Again, we'll be setting ours to one to draw it from the bottom. Text X offset is how many pixels it pushes the text away from the start. This number will heavily depend on how wide your images are, as the wider your graphic, the further you have to push the text. Additionally, if you push the text too far, it could get cut off, so keep that in mind. As a reference, the images we'll be using are 396 pixels wide. For this example, we have the text offset at 250. As a note, it might be a good idea to make your graphics height whatever your screen resolution's height is set to, for good measuring when you're making the graphics. Speaking of, graphics time! The way the plugin works, you set up your face graphics as you normally would in messages, but instead it will call the full art picture of the corresponding graphic name and number. What I mean by this is, under faces, we have this face set here of Akarika. She has seven different faces set. Under your game's picture folder, you'll have to have your full art graphics named based on the face set's image name, in this case, Akarika, and the number of the face, so Akarika underscore one for the first face, Akarika underscore two for the second face, and so on. Back to the game, you'll want to set the face graphics like normal. The one you select here will call the full art version. But before we do that, let's take a look at the default face graphic message windows for comparison. And now with the full art. It looks mostly good, but would take a little trial and error to get perfect. That's not all you can do, though. The plugin also allows you to call graphics based on your party members. You can dig into the demo for these graphics, or otherwise, just have a graphic called party member. You also might want another graphic called party leader. This will show the specific image for party leader's face graphic, based on the face number you select here. Using party member, you can select the party member, and it will, surprise surprise, display that specific party member's graphic. The image it'll show is based on the face graphic they have set in the database. For this event, it's going to call my party leader's graphic, and then my follower's graphic. Works great if you want to switch them around. In the help file, it also gives you a few other plugin commands to play with. You can mirror the image, set them up to show on the left or the right, or turn them off completely. Flipping them and sticking them on the right side is nice if you want to, say, have characters talking back and forth. Though if you have a really wide screen resolution set, it can look kind of awkward, so make sure to play around with it. The important one I want to talk about is turning the full art busts on and off. This is because if you do not have a full art copy of the face graphic, the game will yell at you and tell you to go make one. If you, say, just want to use normal face graphics outside of cutscenes, then, before the message with them, enter the plugin command bust false to turn them off. And when you want to use them again, just put a plugin command for bust true. Now, we'll also want to put a wait command before the messages in the plugin command, because if we don't, weird things happen. It might also be a good idea to put a wait command when switching between characters talking, just as an aesthetic thing. One last thing to talk about is you can change the graphic mid-text. Using backslash BST and the specific face's number in the text will change the image to that number on the current graphic. If you need to change to a completely different face set, just type the name of the face graphic next to the number in the code. Note that when using these codes, one is actually the second graphic, as the number count starts at zero. So the face graphics would be counted as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And that is how you do bust- I mean, bust graphics. <laughs> I will also be doing a tutorial on how to use pictures in a similar manner, eventually. If you have any other requests, feel free to ask me in the comments. Until next time, see you later, gamers!